All right, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle Anderson, and today we have more skating from Ramp 48. I'm still not feeling super comfortable on the vert ramp, so I'm continuing to practice drop-ins as well as those frontside kick turns. I'm definitely keeping a mental note to use my knee pads to slide out whenever possible so I do not get heel bruises, but let me stop rambling and let's get on with the skating. Alright, so from watching that footage and my past two videos, you could probably tell that I dropped it from the same exact spot every single time on the vert ramp. That's why I call this video sticker safety because there's this bone sticker right on that spot where I drop in and I have a very weird mental block that only allows me to drop in on that one wall in that exact spot. Now I've heard other people say, but skating, especially on the vert ramp, is 90% mental, 10% skill and I can totally get that because right now I am struggling to 
do a simple drop in, which I've been doing for the past two videos. But if I'm not on that spot, I can't do it. Still feeling very weird dropping in on the opposite wall, which is 100% mental because it shouldn't matter if I drop in on one side or the other or where there's a sticker or there isn't. So I decided to move around a little bit while trying the opposite wall so I wouldn't get stuck in the sticker safety that I have on the other side. It did feel really weird at first and you could tell in the last clip I wasn't feeling super comfortable going closer to the edge versus the middle. So that's why I decided to move there. And I've also got some skating from the local park here in Wesson. Decided to break up some of the vert skating with some different footage was skating with one of my best friends, Lewis, and he suggested that I try a tray flip over the manual pad, which I never would have thought unless I was skating with him. So here is that battle. Two hours later. Okay, so even though I clipped at the end, I'm still counting that as a make because admittedly, this took me over an hour to land. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the attempts because that would drag this video out way too long and it's already really long as you can tell, but I never would have tried that if I wasn't skating with Lewis. He definitely pushed me to learn a brand new trick that I never would have tried. And I definitely think that skating with friends is a great way to progress, not only for yourself, but for your friend because you guys can bounce ideas off of each other. You might try things that you never would have thought of on your own. I do want to include some clips of Lewis skating, so here's a few tricks that he tried that night. My friend Lewis does a lot of car media. He does videos and photos, so if you'd like to follow all the stuff that he does, I'll put his links in the description below. And as you can tell, he didn't quite get that frontside big spin over the box, so if you want to see him land that, or you want to see me do anything else, please be sure to leave it in, in the comments. So in my next session, when I go to ramp 48, I'm gonna continue trying those frontside kick turns. Might even try to push for a front slash grind, so we'll have to see if I end up doing that. But that is the end of the video, so make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and push your comfort. Hey.